What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to show you guys how you get this amazing pulse, the Graviton Lance as well as the Risk Runner as well as the Sun Shot. But before we get into the video guys, here are a few Rockstar exclusive in-game Destiny 2 gear codes. Enter them into the website linked at the top of the video description. Also guys, if you want to win one, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and then watch your YouTube DMs. Okay, so the Graviton Lance is my exotic choice out of these three, but you can pick the other two when you run the campaign on your other two characters. So the Graviton Lance, an energy pulse, which if you haven't heard, is just incredible. It seriously is. This is what an exotic should be. Check out them perks and watch this thing in action. Boy, it destroys. Okay, so how do you get this, you are wondering? Well, it's actually a part of the story campaign. You are rewarded this from the I.O. vendor, Ashamer. So where do you start? Okay, so firstly, you need to complete the homecoming mission. That's where you help Savala defend the tower and then go on to lose your light to ghoul. You then awake with no power or light and you have to find your way to the farm with the help from Hawthorne's Falcon. When you are there, you need to speak with Hawthorne, who starts your milestone, the Red War. The first mission into this milestone is called Spark, where you and your guardian have to locate the shard and regain your light. Once that is done, you then have to head back to Hawthorne within a farm, who sends you to the EDZ to locate Devroom K. Once he has been located by you, you then have to do an adventure called A New Frontier. In completing A New Frontier, you must then return to Devroom K and collect a comm signal booster, which he will have waiting for you. An item which you then need to take to Hawthorne who is waiting for you on the cliffs above the salt mines. This is done by completing the combustion mission within the EDZ. Once you have met with Hawthorne, you then set out to Titan to meet Savala in a mission called Hope. In Landing on Titan, you soon hear the voice of Savala and Salone, who is the vendor for Titan. Now upon landing on Titan, you are set out to restore power by eliminating Hive who have seemingly overrun this planet. Upon doing that, you are then spawned into Siren's Watch and have to speak with Salone, who gives you a choice of three exotics, which I have covered in a video, which I will link in the video description, if you do want to check that out. Once you have chosen the exotic you want, you then have to retrieve a Golden Age CPU by completing the next mission, which is called Utopia. In doing that mission, you are then set out to find Cade and Ikora. Firstly, Cade, though, who can be found on your next mission called Looped. There, there are two parts, but when you eventually come through both and save Cade, you then have to go and meet and speak with Failsafe. From there, you head to Jovian, the moon of Io, and complete the mission Sacrilege. Upon completing this mission, you should then spawn back on Io, where you need to find and locate and speak with Ashamer. Waiting for you when you speak with him will be the choice of three exotics, the Graviton Lance, the Sunshot, and the Risk Runner. Now we all know what you are choosing, but hey, when you run this on your other two characters, you can then get all three exotics, it's as easy as that. But yes guys, the Graviton Lance is my pick of the bunch. The thing is incredible. And on that note guys, I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button and you will receive email notifications of when I drop a video. But again guys, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Get it right.